Noon, a good evening, wherever you're watching this. I'm back out again today, girls. I love it. Uh, today is something completely different. Well, it's not completely different at all. What am I saying? I'm going out meditating in the field. How is that completely different? It's what I do. Um, but I am going somewhere different. Uh, I haven't been here since last year. It's my Saxon field. Um, I've pulled up a nice Saxon disc brooch in this field before, and a few other little Saxon artifacts. Uh, I want to go back out there today and check it because the digging in this field isn't as bad as it is on lots of others. Um, the Roman field is going to have to wait. I had enough until the end of my last video of them 303s. Oh my lord, how many! I ended up that wasn't the bit I did before, wasn't actually the end. I ended up with like 170 303 ends. So yeah, that's going to have to wait till another day. I, I, it's going to be a bit of a break. Anyway, because I've had such bad luck, uh, Chinese have got some fortune cookies. We've got a red one and a green one. No, that's a red one. That's a green one. I'm not colour blind, honest. Right. I'm going to see what my fortune unfolds today and see if it comes true. So with this intro comes a lucky cookie. I don't know which one. Red or green? Red or green? Which one should I do? Red or green? Red or green? Um, well, I can see green behind me, so I'll go for the green. Let's go for the green. Right. Let's see what happens, shall we? Come on, my luck's got to be better today. It's got to be. Ah. Oh, exciting news, exciting. Right, oh. Hard doing this one-handed. I want to get crumbs all down me and everything. <laughs> My luck is sugar. No, nope. that's, I'm trying to teach you some um, words, right. That's rubbish. Life is a full of decisions like brown or white rice. On that note, let's get to the field. See you on the first decent hole. Off I drop. Right, I've arrived. Um, I wasn't happy with that last fortune cooking. I've been, this has been on my brain all the way here. So I'm going to do this one now for you guys. Let's see what this one says, shall we? My fortune's got to change. Please be the cookie that's going to change it. Oh, this one's broken. It's broken. It's a broken cookie. Oh. Tastes good. The fortune says pork. Oh. That's more like it. Big journeys begin with a single step. And I'm taking a single step out of my car now. Fingers crossed, see you on the field. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my first signal. Uh, the ground is literally like dust. Uh, it was a button. It was a quite a deep button as well. It rang off absolute beauty. Uh, when I first got it out, I thought it was silver, but it's not. It's just a bloody button. Hope the day gets better than that. Right, let's uh, fill in the dust hole. And it is, look, it's just dust. And uh, we'll get back to it. Off we drop. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's signal pop out of this hole. It looks like a piece of lead. It feels quite heavy, but I can make out a line design on it. I don't know what that could have been off. And I am on a Saxon field, so it does hold me in good steed, shall we say. Yeah, it's definitely got some sort of line design. Very thick. Any ideas? Last it down the pot, let's crack on. Off we drop. Right, I'm on to my next signal, and it's in this ant's nest. Look, it's only a shotgun end, but I do like these shotgun ends. I like them a lot because they're the really old style with the pin fire. And I just like them. I don't know why. I even keep these. The, the, the more modern ones with the percussion cap in the middle, they're just discarded. Look at all those ants. Look, I might have disturbed an ant's nest. I'm sorry, guys. I'll put your home back. Don't bite me. Uh, they're black ones, I think. I should be all right. But anyway, yeah, that's what it is. Shotgun end. Right, let's move on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, there's a signal. Uh, it's this here. It's just a rusty buckle. It's uh, iron, so it's not too old, I shouldn't think. 
I'm not too sure. You can't never be told with these rusty buckles, the old iron ones. They rang for butte for some reason. Very strange. I will check me old in a second in case there's anything else, but. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna try a bit of a live dig. It's about there. 44, 45. Sounds really nice in the ear. It sounds really clean. Uh, the reason I don't uh, do live dig usually on this little ground is because it's stony. It doesn't seem too deep either. Let's just pop that clod open. And there's a little dust. Anything amazing is popping out? Board of gold. Tutankhamun's car moons. Oh, leg brace. Oh, it's in there. What's it going to be? Oh, please don't be a 303. No, it doesn't. It doesn't sound like a 303 anyway. It sounds, oh, I missed it. It sounds like I bloody missed it. Right there, it is. It's in here. Doesn't seem too deep at all, but thank goodness, because it's a hot. Can you add and believe it? That's why it's sounding clear. It's a bloody shotgun end. Right, rubbish. Right, let's do the next signal here. It's not a coin. It's not a shotgun end. It looks like it could have some age to it. But what is it? I am on the Saxon field after all, and this is definitely feels like it's got some sort of age to it. But what is it? Let's clean up. I'm not sure, you know, is it just... I don't know, it's definitely something. But what is it? Got a hole in it there, look. It's one of them, isn't it? And the idea is, it could just be a bit of tut, but it's... please someone tell me that's something interesting. Because it's a thick metal, you see, and usually the thicker metals are usually the older. Did twat it with a spade, oops. What is it? What is it? It could just be, right. It's one of them. Come on, off the chop. Right, my next signal, almost as scarred as a piece of junk, but I had a little wipe of it. I don't know if you can make out the pattern. So yeah, I don't know what that could have been off. Uh, it's very thin though, so I'm gonna say possibly Victorian of age. But I'm absolutely surrounded by flies at the moment. I don't know if I can. So I'm wel <laughs> welcoming any sort of breeze to get rid of the bloody flies. Luckily they're not biting me, they're not horse flies. I think I missed the horse fly season this year, thank goodness. Right, let's crack on. Just so you can make out the amount of flies I've got buzzing around my head. To say it's slightly annoying. Would be an understatement. And the breeze makes them go away. <gasps> Come on the breeze. <laughs> right, let's crack on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to something different. Uh, it's in the clod there. Look at the surface, little round edge. Coin or baton, coin or baton. No, my luck could be a baton. It's a baton. <laughs> oh, just rubbish button, right? Hopes up for nothing. I haven't found one of these in a while. Uh, it's a spender belt loop thing, sort of to hold, to hold the ladies' leggings up. Ladies? So you never know, someone could have had that away in the field here. <laughs> Horrible thought. Or they could have just lost it while they're working. I'll go for lost it while they're working. Yeah. Right. Let's crack on. Off we trot. All right. This is the hole where I just had that suspender belt loop thingy. Uh, just swung over here and I come across this. It rang up like a shotgun end. I don't think it is. I think it's something of a. Is it an old brooch mount? Possibly Victorian brooch mount or something like that, or necklace. It's definitely decorated though, isn't it? Yeah, I like that, I like that one. Would have possibly had a stone or something in the middle, or a bit of glass. Cool, right. Finding a day so far. Let's try another live one for you. I think it might be another shotgun end, but. It 
sounds clean enough in the air and it sounds quite shallow, hence I'm going to do a bit of a live one for you. Oh my god, the ground's a bit hard here. I probably chose the worst spot on the whole field to do a live dig. I reckon that, that little crack of the clod should have revealed something. Oh, it's in the clod, look. What is it? What is it? <gasps> it's a bloody button! <laughs> so yeah, live dig, button with nothing on it, a shank on the back though. I'll take it. Off a chop. Alright ladies and gentle beans, just another button, but this one's got a nice little design on it. Uh, I can't quite make out if it's supposed to be a picture or is it just a nice pattern. But focus, there you go. There you go, that's what that is. I am still handed by my um, my gang of flies I'm trying to mug me in the middle of a field. Ain't happening. There's a lot more than 300 of above me head. <laughs> Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I think, I like my shadow, look at that. Woo. I'm onto my first coin. <laughs> ah, here it is. It's, uh, it's uh, really crusty. It's really crusty. It's a modern 2P. It's a modern bloody 2P. Rubbish. Bugger, as Aaron would say. Right, let's crack on. Off we trot. Far for through me, aren't I? I'm having a little sit down. It's a bit on the warm side today. I would say warm. I think it was a bit of an understatement. I don't know what temperature is. I'm in a t-shirt. I've probably got, look, uh, sweat starting to come through and everything. <laughs> Minging, right. Yeah, so I have a little breather in the bush. Uh, found one coin, one 2p. Halfway through, got about another three hours left. Gotta push through, gotta push through. Got a few nice little artifacts so far, but I know this field's got so much more to offer. It's got to. My luck's gotta change. One little bit of silver, one old coin. That's all I ask. You can shut up too. Uh, Right, on that note, let's gas into you. Have already hit the subscribe button. My luck's bound to change soon. The law of averages says it's got to change soon. Off a trot. Would you just look at the size of that for a buckle? It's humongous. Yeah, I don't think it's too old again. That's a huge old buckle. That's a big buckle. I could probably wear that as a belt buckle. <laughs> anyway, put it in the good side and let's crack on. Off we trot. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the next signal is this here. It's old. You can tell by it's, uh, I think it's lead. I'm not too sure it's an old lead button or anything, but see how it's splintered? You can see the blackness through. That's that's real old. I don't know if it is lead or you. It's heavy enough to be lead. Very brittle though, so not too sure. Definitely got some age to it, which I like. I like the sound of that. Wait, yep, definitely sounds good. <laughs> well, on that note, I'm gonna fill in the hole and uh, crack on. It is a warm one today. Oh yeah, right, off chop. It finally looks like I'm onto my next coin here. Uh, this one looks older than a 2P, thank goodness. Uh, who are you? Oh, oh, can I get something on that side? Little gentle rub on the trousers and possibly a Britannia that side, it's possibly an old Georgian penny. Why not? Why not have a Georgian penny? Am I seeing it? No, that's a head. That's a head facing towards the right. Yeah, cool. Anyway, old coin, love it. In the pot. Let's crack on. Well, if you look over there, that's where I just had the, the last Georgian coin up, and I've just got a hole here. I looked right down in the edge, so it looks like another coin. Let's get it. Let's get it. I don't want to damage it. I don't think it's silver, though, which is a shame, he says. Oh, it bloody isn't a coin. It bloody isn't a coin. Oh, I thought that was a. I thought I was like some bloody brooch then. I don't think so, no, I just think it's an ornate fitting. Oh, my heart skipped a beat. It really did. 
Something edge of what I thought was a coin. I'm not sure. Well, is that just an ornamental fitting? Or what? What is that? I am not sure. But I am on a Saxon field where I have found Saxon stuff before, but that design does not say Saxon. That says possibly Georgian. But hey, I'm not sure. That sounds a bit different. Right, filling me all off a drop. Right, next thing I found, it looks like a little robot's tooth, but I think that is uh, the locking tooth of a uh, buckle. Or it could be a robot shark's tooth. Uh, you can, yeah, you can make your own mind up on that, but I think that is definitely the tang of a buckle. Right. Well, if it isn't my good old friend, Mr. Mortar Finn, how are we today? Uh, Look at that, that's almost a perfect one, look. Got a tail proper and everything. Other than that blade there broken, that there is a neon perfect museum piece. Probably turn it into something like an egg cup holder or something. I'm keeping that one. That's probably the most perfect one I've found. Sweet. Everything today is it's looking like brooch to me. It's not. It's a. Uh, it's um. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not a brooch. Uh, possibly some sort of trigger or something. It's almost trigger-like, doesn't it? It's got that flat bit that side. It's got like a little tang bit on the back. What the on earth is that? Modern to. I'll put it in the pot. You guys always let me know because you are legends. Right, they're filling me old and uh, yeah. Come on, thank God, thank goodness. All right, I don't think it's Saxon silver or anything like that, but it's got a glint out and I think it is silver. Oh, it's a silver shilling. From 1927. I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. See? What the fortune cookie said? Life is about decisions. White or brown rice. <laughs> I don't care, I've gone to silver. Oh, I'm over the moon. I'm happy with that. Oh, that is a pretty much a minter as well. Cool. Filling me all off a truck. <laughs> Follow white rabbit I'm taking potions, call me Alice Watch me grow taller Yeah, rabbit's watches in his pocket 